What's going on everybody? Prestige on Facebook here and today we're going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to make TMR. This is just the first of many tutorial videos that I'll be doing. Um, I'm actually going to follow this one up with another TMR tutorial on how to make uh, TMR from a raw product without, without bailing it first. So let's go ahead and get started here and I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you like it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. So I normally like to start off my TMR process by stockpiling bales. You know, you're going to need hay bales, you're going to need silage bales, and you're going to need straw bales. And, and hay and silage are both made from grass. So you have to ted the grass and then bale it. And once it's tedded, it, it turns into hay. And then grass, you have to go ahead and bale just plain grass, and then you wrap it um, with a bale wrapper once you're done with that. So I'm going to actually show you guys a pretty neat little mower set up here. So if you watch, you'll see what we're going to do with this mower we bought the one that people usually connect the little one on the front and the big one on the back you can actually connect them to each other so put both mowers on the front and then you can pull a tether behind you that way as you're cutting the grass you're also tedding it all at the same time you can, and also whenever you go to get uh, just grass for your silage bales you can actually pull a wind rower behind you instead of pulling a tether and then you won't even have to go back and wind rower it later. You can go ahead and get out the baler and be baling it. So all, uh, there's several several ways you can do grass and we'll probably go over all the different ways in future videos but for this video we're just going to hurry up and kind of show you guys the way that we do things here. So we're going to start off by stockpiling a ton of hay and a ton of grass. So if you look here on the front of the mower we've got the mower set up which I could tell you um, which I told you in the store. we set up the little mower on the front of the big mower and then we pull something behind us to help you know it saves at least one trip that way you don't have to go a second trip with the the tether and then a third trip with the wind rower fourth trip with the baler it could be a long process but there are ways to shorten things up for the most part so this is a really cool setup and i normally always do this which i also play on pc so there's mods that make this much much faster on pc but for you console people this is about the best way to do it Now the entire field of grass is cut and tedded. It's ready for us to grab a wind rower and get it ready for the baler to come back and pick up the swath of grass and or hay or whatever it is that you do. So basically grass is done this same way. You just don't use a tether on it. You do the same exact thing. You just won't use a tether. You could actually hook up the wind rower right behind you. But I'm going to show you guys these different balers. There's all, all kinds of different balers you could use. You got round bales and you got square bales. I personally prefer square bales. You can usually tell which baler does which one. This one right here would be a round baler. Then the back of a square baler is going to look like this. You can kind of tell that a square bale is going to come out of that there. So this is the baler that we normally use starting out. We actually have a modded uh, baler that we can also use. You also have this here. This will bale it and then wrap it all in one go. They're, they're very slow machines though. That's why I like the the square ones. I'll get a square bale machine and then I'll use this machine here to wrap the bales and it's just a much easier process so look, we got the baler we're gonna bring it to the field and we're gonna go ahead and bale pretty much everything here it's it can be a long process but you know once you get through to the end of it it's a lot of fun and this is actually believe it or not one of my favorite things to do in this game cutting grass I don't know why it's really weird you're probably gonna be the same way I'd be surprised if you didn't like cutting grass in this game or taking care of the animals we will be doing animal tutorials shortly after the TMR tutorials obviously uh, TMR is for cows so this will be referenced to uh, whenever I do my cow tutorial video this right here is the baler that I like to use whenever I do bills you will only be able to get this baler on PC this is not on console unfortunately um, but I will put the link in the description of the video to get that baler if you guys play on PC and want to check it out now we're going back and we're going to go ahead and bale up the grass that we cut. I didn't feel the need to show you guys us cutting grass and wind rowing it because we just went through that just while I go with the hay. And it's the same process except with the grass we're not tedding it first. Now everything is done. We should be ready to pick everything up except for the grass bales. The grass bales we still have to buy a wrapper and we have to wrap 
the bells up. I'm going to show you guys a bell wrapper that I use. This is also only on PC. I'll try to leave the link for it in the description as well. This will wrap bells insanely fast and uh, speed up the process a little bit. On console, you get the same beller, but it won't do it fast. It'll do it at its normal speed. So if you guys check this out, you'll see how quickly it does these bells. It's, it's actually pretty cool. It's a lot of fun to use too. You can actually change the color of the bells from white to blue, purple, all kinds of different colors. So once you get these bells wrapped, that is then a silage bell. You can use it as silage, put it in silage storage or whatever you want to do with it. Use it for TMR. Um, then after that, we've got hay bells, we've got silage bells, and now it's time for straw. Straw, like I said, comes from oats, wheats, um, barley. Those are three crops that you can plant and harvest. You have to make sure your harvester is set to have the straw swath turned on, and then it'll leave a straw swath. Then you just go by with a baler. You pick it all up, and voila, you got straw bells, you got hay bells, you got silage bells. So now we're ready to pick these things up. I'm going to go into the store. We're going to buy the bell loading trailers. On console, you'd have to use this bell loading trailer here, um, unless there's some other mods on console that I'm not aware of, but this will pick up bells. And then on PC, I always use these trailers over here. It's super simple. You just ride by them, buy the bells, and then bam, it pops up on your trailer. I'm about to show you guys what it is. You know kind of how that works it's pretty cool i'll try to leave the link in the description for this mod as well if you are on pc so don't really mind the bell trailer on the you know the back it kind of uh i kind of done something dumb we don't have to talk about it so now we've got the bells picked up now we need somewhere to store the bells that way we can just you know pile a bunch of them in there uh, this is mod made by farming innovations i don't know if these are on console or not i don't think they are i know they're on pc though and they are amazing they've got one for every bell round or square so i'm gonna and actually i'm gonna place one of each of them i always do this on pretty much every farm as i place them all right there side by side kind of you know make them look like one whole building all together so we're gonna go ahead and get these things placed down then we're gonna pull our bells in there and that'll be it then after that we're going to be ready to get the tmr machine and start making some cow food so now all of the buildings are placed we just take this trailer we unload the bells and then we drive through the unloading trigger and then they all just kind of pop up back there stacked all nice and neat that's why i love these things so much you don't have to do any of the work it's uh it's amazing which that's really what a lot of pc mods do love being on pc but now we're going to buy the animal tmr machine you go in the animal section under the trailers and then you buy this nice little thing right here this trail to line duo 1814 whatever you want to call it um you buy this and then it takes two hay bales one silage bell one straw bell some machines hold more than 16,000 liters and then you can fill it what you'll do if it holds more than 16,000 liters because each bell is 4,000 liters what you'll do is you'll just put the rest of the trailer filled up with silage so two hay bales one straw bale then fill the rest of the trailer with silage and we're buying a little bobcat here it's probably not the best machine to use for this but i love bobcats so i got a bobcat you can get whatever you want as long as you got a bill for it unless you have the strong farmer mod we'll actually show you that here in a second if you have the strong farmer mod another pc only mod you can actually pick the bells up yourself and throw them in the trailer but i i just used a bobcat here to show you console people what y'all will have to do because i know y'all don't have the strong farmer mod so we're going to spawn one of the bells here or enough of each of the bells to go ahead and make some TMR and then we're gonna grab the Bobcat we're gonna load them into the trailer and then you'll see that once we get in the tractor uh, that it will say that we have TMR in the trailer if you just put silage or if you just put grass or or something like that you'll know if it's TMR or not because you at the bottom right corner it will tell you you have forage or or shaft in your trailer it won't say that you have total mixed ration so um let's go ahead and load these hay bales in here like i said you gotta have two hay bales here yeah this bobcat that didn't yep yep uh, let's let's not talk about that <laughs> uh bobcat wasn't the best idea i told you i just like it i actually live stream on facebook if you guys watch me on facebook then you'll you'll know this is a very normal uh occurrence on the stream i normally like to do stupid stuff and everybody gives me a hard time about it but 
it's all fun and games until someone hurts my feelings, which is like every day. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and load this up. There is the second bell. That's right. That's right. There you go. All right. Now we're gonna grab a silage bell. We're gonna throw it. And uh, there. We're gonna throw it. Okay. I'm actually doing a voiceover, so um, I forgot what I did. It's my fault. I'm not redoing this video, though. At least not this voiceover. I put too much work and time into this. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and finish this thing out. Um, throw in the, the silage in there. You all get the point anyways, am I right? Get the point. So if we were to get in right now, I didn't think to do that earlier whenever I was recording the gameplay. But um, yeah, we got stuck. Okay, let's do that. Get in there. Right, what? Okay, come on now. If you're on my live stream, we've got a little mission failed sound uh, sound bite that we normally play when something goes wrong, doesn't go our way. This is the beauty of the strong farmer mod, by the way. Things don't go our way. We we pitch a fit. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is what you can do if you're on uh, if you're on PC. But the beauty of being on PC is that um, sometimes people still like to do it. But if you look at the bottom right, guys, it says total mixed ration here. So. What you can do is you can go ahead and, and yes, that cow pen magically appeared there. Don't ask questions. Um, you can actually go ahead and feed your cows. Also, don't pay attention to the Ford that's inside of the shed. I kind of didn't move it out of the way when I placed it down. And, uh, yeah, something bad happened. The cows like it, though. So, yeah, that's good. But anyhow, that is how you make TMR, guys. That's, that's literally it. It is emptying out. The cow came over here and ate. Looks like just one cow's gonna eat. Yeah, we didn't buy that many. But that's how you make TMR. Very, very easy process, guys. You can use your animal menu here to see how much food they need or how much they have and all that good stuff. I'm actually gonna go over a cow tutorial in the future, so I'll go more into detail about this menu and other things. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. And if you got any suggestions, or uh, you know constructive criticism not constructive cr criticism not the not the troll constructive criticism that my community likes to give me on my live streams um leave them in the comments thank you guys for watching like and subscribe to the video and i will see y'all in the next video thank y'all